Hello everybody, welcome back to Dirty Bar. Wait, wait, no, this is not how I start my videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to some new date. Welcome back to some more Dirty Bomb gameplay. Today on Chapel, and uh, as you can see in a second, I said, as you can see in a second. What am I doing? Well, anyway, I'm playing as Sparks today. Uh, not as Proxy, even though my doing my practice round as Proxy, I think I, I might have remembered later to switch to Sparks. No, that was the point where I switched to Sparks and started uh, to continue playing as Sparks, because I saw that everybody was playing as Proxy. And so I capitalized on the lack of doctors just to support my team. And then I kind of stuck with it for a while. Anyway, this is a little bit different gameplay as uh, as a doctor because you have to support your team and I don't often play Sparks, so it's not my main class as I said, it's mainly as proxy, so I'm trying to do my best to be supporting here, trying to get the revive in, but people are aware that I'm there, so they are kind of trying to, you know, down people, finish them off instead of letting me revive them. And that was a fantastic play by the uh, enemy what you gonna call it? Bushwhacker? Oh, I'm sorry, I bumped the microphone there. Yeah, the enemy bushwhacker. I think I said in the first video like bushwhacker or something. That's just stupid. Anyway, you can see that the uh, things, uh, the, the reviver gun makes a decent amount of damage, but against Aura and her healing thing, it's just uh, just way too much healing that she's got there. All right, finally managed to get kind of in the flow, I think, now. And trying to actually revive people, which is also kind of working. And this is something I kind of like or dislike about Red Eye. His shotgun, I think it's a shotgun. It sounds like a shotgun, but actually it can snipe you from quite a distance. So I thought I was quite safe behind there and that he wouldn't focus on me. Oh, that he could focus on me because all the bullets would spread into my teammates, but nope. There we go. Yeah, it's, lo it's looking a lot better. I'm getting the revives in when I n need to. Keeping an eye on my team here and there. It's going pretty well so far. I don't quite remember how this round ends, but... Hmm. I guess we'll both see together, won't we? There you go. Reviving team, keeping them up here near the, near the EV where I need it. <laughs> Little bit buggy when somebody dies inside the EV. That's okay. Our halfway to the objective. And here, getting out of the way of that airstrike, and then getting out of the way of the next airstrike, killing myself in the process. Oh god, I keep bumping the mic today. I'm so sorry, guys. Jeez. And I'm not quite sure if what it says on the wiki about the Dear Doctor achievement is actually true because I've gotten it quite a few times when it wasn't actually within the time span. Or maybe they changed that so it's actually dependent on how many times you arrive in a life. I don't know. That's kind of weird how often I get it even if I don't meet the requirements that the wiki says about it. Of course, as Sparks, you're quite just uh, you're just as uh, squishy as Proxy, so don't stand or try to tank airstrikes. That's it is quite a silly thing to do. But uh, uh, opposite to your other game that you probably would have watched about a uh, chap where we were on the defending side, now as attacking side, we got quite far ahead because they didn't manage to stop us right after we got the EV out from under the bridge, which is one of the best places to hold the, the position. <laughs> and two teammates run into that thing right one of the, after the other. Very silly. Okay, in this kind of situation, just rush it, just get it in there. Doesn't matter. You don't ha have to worry about getting killed or something. Because it only takes like a second until it, it got in there. Killing the health stations first so they can go before backup. Going up here to evade enemy fire, but they're all already dead. So it didn't quite matter. And now we're gonna try to push, 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 push. 
trying some risky flanking maneuvers, but I decided to stay down here, get the revives in. And here's a funny fun thing you can do, you can jump up here and revive people through the grates. So you can stay quite in security down there. Also, snipe the sniper over there. Of course, always stay out of the airstrikes. Which is also an, uh, a positive thing about staying down here under this bridge because you are protected from airstrikes. But as soon as your team pushes up further, you're gonna have uh, problems because you're blocked by all those gates and the bus station thing and the bus. So right now we gotta push up with our team trying to help them. Which I don't quite manage to do because they are very smart about uh, finishing their down people. Getting heals in when you can, direct hits always better than just laying them on the ground. And this guy revived for no reason, I don't know why he did that. He, su uh, he, he suicided himself to get to the respawn point, which makes no sense. <clears throat> Damn it. But thankfully we've, we have a, a, another doctor on our side now, so that's very helpful. And again, as I said, they're very aware of, uh, of me being there and uh, getting to revive people, so they're very smart about just keeping uh, finishing off down people. It's a very smart thing too, if you know there's a doctor nearby, always finish off uh, the enemy teams, because they're just gonna get it, keep getting up, which is very very annoying. Now also very bad for you if you're the defending team or the attacking team because you don't want to have extra resistance there. Especially with Sparks who can heal, f uh, can revive from a distance. Right here. And that was a very lucky direct heal. I used to run Sparks with another uh, loadout which had dual SMGs but uh, I found that it's actually much better to just have the one SMG which actually does proper damage. As we're supporting our team we're trying to focus on uh, getting the turret up and those are some nice revives. Just chaining them up but I run out reviver juice. Doesn't matter though, uh, we've got an aura there and now we're gonna position ourselves here between where the enemy team is coming in and our aura so we kind of acting like a little bit of a milk shield and that gets us the first delivery of the objective. As I said, in this game it doesn't matter if you die very often. What matters is that you get the objectives done. So if you can, just position yourself, be a meat shield if you have to, even as a squishy sparks class, because they're gonna be trying to focus on the aura behind you, so you can just step in, soak up those bullets, let her do her job, get the objective done, and you're gonna have to start from the beginning again anyways, so it doesn't really matter all that much if you die. And that's that! You know, good teamwork, good attacking team, I've got some pretty, pretty decent revives in. I got a few kills, let's see how many here. Four kills, which is not a lot, but as you can see, you don't have to have many kills or deaths, uh, a big KD to get a high score, as long as you help with the objectives are supportive of your team. Yeah, that's a little bit of info about Sparks, I was talking way too much. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time with another Sparks video. Bye bye!